Hello, I'm Rachel Jones. Welcome back to Calkai Media. We have another edition of Executive Corner Expert Talks. In this edition, I'll be speaking with Dr. Qingtao Zheng, Managing Director of Australasian Metals. Australasian Metals have exploration projects in Australia with two gold and one bauxite titanium project in Queensland and lithium and tantalum projects in the Central Northern Territory. Here to tell us more is Dr. Qingtao Zheng. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Now, firstly, could you give us an introduction to your company? Australasia Metals Limited was listed just two years ago. And since then, we have defined a jock standard resource for gold in Queensland. And we got into the lithium space right after our listing. And we have some interesting development in Northern Territory for lithium exploration. And lately, we acquired a project, a bauxite project in Queensland, which is shared boundary with our gold lessons. And it has already drug standard results over 54 million tons material, aluminum and uh, uh, titanium. And we are really excited about uh, the development of our company. Australasian Metals have built up a portfolio exploration assets covering lithium, gold and bauxite today. Where do you think the company stands today in the metals industry? I think uh, the evolution, the green evolution for battery to the world is non startable And we are in the lithium industry and if you look at Australia wide, there's, you can count with good lithium projects. What we have in Northern Territory, the Mount Peak and Barra Creek projects, we have done soil geochemistry, geophysics, and we have won the grant from Northern Territory government to help us to fund the first drilling program in Mountain Peak, and we, are, we feel really blessed. We had a little bit of delay in terms of getting our native title agreement and uh, permitting to get the drilling started. But now we have the Aboriginal Area Protection Authority's certificate, which ensure us to conduct activities we want to do in the field. And also we have the grant from the Northern Territory government, which will, we will be reimbursed about one third of the costs. That gave us, put us into a great position to take, conduct the first drilling diamond drilling program in our Mount Peak lithium project. If we make a breakthrough, oh, we will be all over the news. So that's the benefit and the potential reward for my shareholder. And you recently acquired a high quality project in Queensland. What's the key focus area for that project? So that project was owned by Atlantic Lithium, who are my major shareholder already and they have been very supportive. So in that two tenements, they have already defined over 54.9 million tons bauxite resources, including 5.2% titanium. And is, in terms of bauxite quality, is, is not fantastic, but is good quality. But the interesting part is it has really high titanium. So that's the angle we look at this project. And we have finished our first uh, field work after we sign up the purchase agreement. And we have done our initial mapping and rock chip sampling. Some of the grid coming back with over like 17% titanium in the surface. That's really exceed our expectation. So what we are looking at this project, the angle is, is a bauxite as a global resources, but the titanium grid can be the new angle for us to unlock the value of the project. Now there has been surging demand for titanium dioxide from industrial users across Asia. How do you think May Queen South bauxite project will cater to this demand? There's a, there's a new release, there will be a new release for iPhone 15. And that one will have a titanium cave. What do you call that? A titanium case. Yeah. Titanium case. That will be one of the few 
new development or new demand or new application for titanium. And not mentioning a lot of traditional applications of this metal. And that's where I see we already have a reasonable sized global resource. And we have a new area with a high titanium grid in the surface, which we are going to follow up with drilling program. And we already approached the consulting group who have done the uh, drug stand results. They are very comfortable that with further work, further auger drilling or shallow drilling, we can add more resources of good titanium grade resources into the global resource we have. So I can see a clear path with, with uh, low cost to add value to the project we have. So that's what we are going to do. And what are the near-term exploration plans on your Northern Territory lithium projects? So, as I said in the early of the, the presentation, we have, done, we have defined geochemical anomalism with soil geochemistry. We have done geophysics, used the deep penetration radar to tell what it may look like in the shallow surface, like in the first 50 to 100 meters below surface. All of those things, and don't forget that we have done a lot of rock chip sampling some of them come with really good grade, over 1.6, 1.15% lithium, and over 200 ppm titan titanium. So all those work we have done, and we identified uh, uh, lithium-bearing minerals, Mount Brightside and Spodumin, in the surface. I think we have done enough to make our project technically drilling ready. But also lately, we have all the permit we need. We have our mining management plan approved. We have this AAPA office certificate, which insurance us to say you are in the position to do those kind of program, which has been insured. So the company covered to conduct those drilling. And most importantly, we have been granted twice from Northern Territory government to co-fund the drilling program. If we make them breakthrough in this region, it will, it will have a regional impact and lift the whole profile of lithium exploration in this area. And finally, what business strategies are unique in the junior explorer market on the ASX? I think it's, uh, the market is getting tougher. I read something talking about uh, in 2021, there is over close to 300 companies listed in 2021. There's over 110 companies listed in 2022. And in the half of this year, only 11 companies listed. So the junior market is getting really tough. That's where, but for us, Australasia Metals, we listed two years ago. We only have 52 million shares on ISU, and we still have $4 million in the bank with a market cap around $10 million. And I, the major shareholder, I'm the managing director, this is my own company. I do everything, everything I do, I'm looking at how can I create value and cut costs for my company, given the overall capital market sentiment. So I think we have interesting project in uh, Northern Territory for lithium exploration. I can tell you that there's a lot of companies talking to us, trying to work with us in the lithium front because there's not too many promising drilling ready lithium project in Australia domestically. And the newly acquired titanium project, a bauxite titanium project, we acquired it with a really low cost and we are going to look at how we can add value to lift this project into the next level. So I think that's where we sit. Um, it will be um, a lot of value can be added in the next ha second half of the year. And myself, I have been in the lithium space for a long time. I see opportunities from time to time. And I'm sure we'll find, we'll find something down the track as well to put into the portfolio to create more value to my shareholder. Fabulous news. Thank you so much for chatting with us today. Thank you, Richard. Thank you.
And that was Dr. Ching Tao Zhang, Managing Director of Australasian Metals. And if you missed any part of that chat, you can watch the full interview on our YouTube channel at Kalkai Media. So make sure to subscribe. I'm Rachel reminding you to stay apprised and invest wise with Kalkine.